Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.9.15 and Eagle Dynamics AH64D Apache Module. Welcome to Tutorial 13, ASE, pronounced ACE, uh, I'm led to believe. Uh, and that stands for the Aircraft Survivability Equipment. Uh, this is the equipment fitted to the Apache for defensive purposes. Uh, it allows us to detect and um, prioritize various different types of threat and also respond to them. Uh, now this entire set comprises of a variety of different um, components, some of which are implemented and some of which are not. Uh, we have the RFI or the radio frequency interferometer uh, that's mounted to the to the mast just underneath the radar. That's currently not implemented, so we won't cover that today. We have the RLWR, which is the radar and laser warning receiver. That is fully implemented. It uh, covers kind of a 360 arc, and it allows us to detect radar emissions and uh, laser spots that are directed at us. Uh, the aircraft has a jammer, an ECM. That's currently not implemented, so we won't cover that today. Uh, and we also have the CMWS, pronounced CIMWAS, and that's the Common Missile Warning System. Uh, this is an array of infrared cameras which can detect the heat plumes of missile launches and warn us about them. It can also automatically launch flares. Uh, and we have chaff, uh, a chaff dispenser as well, which is integrated uh, into the RLWR. So the RLWR handles chaff and the CIMWAS handles flares. If we jump into the aircraft, let's uh, cover some of these uh, systems in, in a little bit more detail. Uh, we're in the pilot seat just now, and we're in active pause. Uh, to the right here, we can see the control panel for the SimWAS. And it's pretty simple, there's not really that much to it. We have the power switch here, off, on, and test. If you push it down into test for a period of time, it will do the built-in test, which is nice. Uh, the SimWAS has audio. Uh, so it will warn you about things that are going on. Um, basically, the only thing it will do is it will tell you about missile launches by saying missile, missile, and then the direction it's coming from. It can tell you front, left, right, and rear. Those are the only directions it can tell you. These arrows on this um, direction indicator will also flash to, sh to tell you kind of which direction the launch is coming from. Uh, the audio knob is not functional in the Apache. Uh, th th this common missile warning system is installed in a variety of aircraft, and in some of them that would adjust the uh, the audio for the SIMWAS. Uh, in the Apache, it's actually wired through the ADF, uh, so I can mute the ADF by pulling the knob up. If I left-click to push it down, it's on, and then if I roll my scroll wheel, I can adjust the SIMWAS uh, audio. I'm going to leave it at full right now. Now, um, of course, this is this channel is labelled ADF. Uh, normally, you'd hear your ADF tones through it, but we have an override switch here where you can control whether the audio is coming from the SIMWAS or from NAV. And NAV means you'll get your ADF tones. So just be aware that you, you need to action this switch. Uh, lamp allows you to dim the system for use at night. You probably want it full intensity during the day. Uh, you can arm or safe the system. This is arming and safing the flares. So right now, flares cannot be launched. If I flip it up into arm, we get R, which lets us know the flare dispenser is ready. Uh, and we could now manually action the flare dispense switch, and we would dump flares. Very important thing to note is that the flares are programmed on the ground by the ground crew. The program cannot be changed while in the air. Um, so... If you're on the ground with the engine off, you can you can change this program uh, by interacting with the ground crew using the keys listed here. Uh, we're in the air, so it cannot be changed now. And then you also have settings for bypass and auto. In auto mode, the SimWAS will dispense flares uh, according to your program uh, whenever it detects a missile launch. Note that the system has no ability to differentiate between friendly and enemy missile launches. So, of course, if you're in formation with other Apaches and they're firing off Hellfires, you're probably going to want to pop this into Bypass. Uh, in the Bypass mode, only you can launch the flares. In Auto, the system will launch flares on its own as long as the system is armed. So you need it to be an armed and you need an R. During dispense, the D will illuminate for dispense. You also have a readout of your remaining flares and chaff in this display. 
Uh, and that's pretty much everything you can do with the sim was. It, the control of it is only available to the pilot because it is this little module that's installed in the cockpit. If we jump into the CPG seat, we'll now go over the ASE uh, functionality in the multifunction display. Now, uh, you can see radar threats both on the TSD and on the ASE page. Um, if we go into utilities, we also have this function called ASE auto page. What this will do, if I click on this, you can see you've got different modes that you can have it in. You can also turn it off entirely. Uh, if you have it turned on, what it will do is at the trigger setting, so it can be triggered by search, acquisition, or track. Uh, search just basically meaning you, know, you were hit by radar energy, acquisition being that you, the target has actually locked you, uh, and track means that it's supporting a missile launch. You're, you're being tracked and a missile is on the way. Um, you can choose at what level it should trigger. So let's put it into acquisition for now. And what that will do is even if you don't have the TSD page up, it will bring the TSD page up momentarily and show you that threat. So if you can see here, if I go to TSD, on the box or on the outside, we do get symbols um, for uh, for the both the radar threats and laser threats. Uh, th these symbols here are fixed wing symbols, and above it tells you the, the type. So here's an E3, so that's a friendly NATO um, radar aircraft, and here it says 50, that's the A50, that's a Russian uh, fixed wing radar aircraft. Everything, everything else will show as triangles, that's um, kind of other radar sources, again with identifying information at the top. If you actually start being tracked, the system will place a box around that threat and draw a dotted line towards your helicopter. That means they're tracking you. If they then launch, the box will flash and you'll still have the dotted line. Um, if we lose one of these, it, like if it, if it stops emitting, it will go to a faded uh, symbol, like a kind of half intensity symbol, for 10 seconds and then disappear. And if it's a new threat, it will be in bold for three seconds and then it'll return to normal. So that's how they're presented on here. If I go to main menu and I choose ASE, this is the dedicated ASE page. And again, we've got these two uh, radar sources, fixed wing radar sources and their identifiers. At the top right, we can also see how many threats we have detected and on what sensor. So here we can see the RLWR has two threats. We can also change the auto page from here as well. Uh, you can also safe and arm the chaff uh, the flares, again, are armed on the SimWAS, and you can change the chaff program. Well, you can choose, choose between manual and program, uh, and if we actually go into util, we can actually edit that program. So the chaff program can be edited in flight. The flare one cannot. We've got a readout of how many cartridges were installed. Um, this usually should be correct, but I guess if you rearm, it might not be. Um, so you could, you could type in 10, uh, well, actually, yeah, count 10 and hit enter and we've told the, the computer that we only have 10 chaff. That doesn't change how many are actually on the aircraft, it just changes how many the aircraft thinks we have. Yeah, I'm gonna put that back to 30 right now, because that's the correct number. We also have the, the setting for the RLWR voice. It also has a voice, and it can be normal or terse. In normal mode, it will announce the radar source every single time it says something. <clears throat> so it will say, you know, um, SA6, tracking or SA6 searching um, every single time. If you put it into terse, it will only announce the type the first time it calls it out. So for example, SA6 searching, and then subsequent callouts will be tracking, or actually I think it says radar tracking, radar launch, etc. Uh, we'll keep it in normal just now, so we'll get the full callouts. And then you've got the power switch for RLWR. You can power it off, and you can power it on, funnily enough. So let's go back to ASE. Uh, well, you also have aircraft heading here at the bottom and at the top, remaining chaff at the bottom left. Uh, that's pretty much everything. So what we're going to do now is we're going to see, I've actually made the aircraft invincible. I'm going to put weapon page on both sides. Note that from the weapon page you can also peek at the ASE and then peek away again. And you also have the status of the chaff dispenser in the weapon page as well, chaff armed. Uh, the flare dispenser is integrated through the sim walls, so it, you don't get any information really about the chaff on any of the multifunction displays. You have to be in the pilot seat and looking at the sim walls panel 
So anyway, for now, flares are armed and in auto. They will dispense. They're showing ready. And the chaff is also... It's in program and it's armed. The chaff cannot auto-dispense. The chaff can only be manually dispensed. Speaking of which, let's take a little look at the controls we have for those. We have a button for chaff dispense. It's on the cyclic. You press it and chaff is dispensed. And we have a button for flares. Flare dispense. Also a button on the cyclic. So we've got two buttons there for dispensing those two manually. Right, let's uh, come out of active pause. And I'm going to use George here. And we're going to climb so that there's an SA6 site ahead, you see. I'm going to climb so that it can see us. And then we're going to advance towards it and see what terrible, terrible things it does to us. Copy. Increasing up. Copy. Speeding up. And uh, just so you know how I'm doing this, uh, Control v brings up this indicator at the bottom left. And uh, then I press and hold okay. W to climb and I tap W to change my ground speed. Okay, we, we just got something there. What was that? Was That that was the SA6. So it said SA6, 11 o'clock. So we know that it's it's picked us up now. Let's continue. SA6, 11 o'clock, tracking. SA6, 11 o'clock, tracking. And you now see we have the symbol. So we've got this triangle with a six, SA6. Box around it means that it is tracking us, and the dotted line kind of confirms that. This is going to get worse very quickly. And you can see now RLWR3 targets. Should fire on us quite soon now. There we go. We've got a launch. I'm going to pause very quickly. So we have flashing box. We still have the dotted line. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into active pause. There we go. And jump into the pilot seat. And you can see we were getting flashing indications on the SimWAS. We heard missile, missile, front. Um, we've got D for dispense. The, the aircraft is now dumping flares out automatically, even though this is actually a radar threat. It's not going to do us any good. And yeah, we've got the flashing indication here. So that missile is inbound. The whole time that the um, that the SimWAS is detecting the launch, the system will dump a single salvo of flares at a time because that was our program. You could have actually made it something more than that. And uh, this missile should hit us quite soon. But that's not going to matter because we're invincible today. Falcon <laughs> altitude. Okay, so he's launching again. Let's actually turn to the north and release. Because then you, you'll see the sim was actually indicating something other than front. Around we come. Okay, so it, it should indicate on the left now. Okay, I'm going to active pause and go to the pilot seat. We should now get... Oh, aft left. Okay. So we're getting aft left this time, and it's dumping out flares. You can see we're we're, <laughs> we're quickly get using up those. And then over my shoulder, we've got a smoke plume. That's going to hit us pretty soon now. Boom. Nice job. Okay, I'm going to pause that there just now. Uh, so you know, th th those are the basics of the uh, the RLWR and the SimWAS and the Chaff and Flare Dispensers. Uh, now, to finish up, we're going to take a very quick look at the, the other symbols that we might see. So we, we, we saw all of these, basically. Uh, we saw the fixed wing. We saw the threats. Uh, you know, radar in search, in track, in launch, and this is what the bold looks like. We probably didn't quite cover that, but uh, yeah, new radar or laser threat is displayed in bolded symbol for three seconds following initial detection. Now, the one I didn't show you because it's a bit harder to set up is the laser detector. So lasers will just show up as stars with a box around them. That means that um, in this mode with the box, 
uh, someone has just ranged you using a laser, uh, that's usually going to mean that if it's a tank, which it often will be, that means it's about to fire its main gun at you. So if you're hovering right now, don't be. Because, um, yes, you're about to receive at least 105 millimeters of something you don't want. Um, if you get it with the dashed line, that means that something has you in target designation mode. Uh, this probably means that a laser-guided missile is about to be fired at you. Or it could mean that someone's going to try and drop a laser-guided bomb on you. <laughs> um, that has happened. And uh, then if you have the flashing indication, that's a beam rider. So that means that, yes, absolutely, a beam riding missile is on its way to you. Uh, so wherever you are right now, don't be there. Um, you need to you need to deal with that situation quickly. And uh, yeah, again, the, the flares, they can only be programmed on the ground by the ground crew. You need to be on the ground uh, and talk to the ground crew. Another thing to note, both the chaff and flare dispensers are inhibited when you have weight on wheels. Uh, you need to make sure that once you're in the air, that they are both armed. Uh, chaff is armed in the ASC page and flares are armed on the SimWAS panel in the pilot seat. And that's it. That's everything about the aircraft survivability equipment. I hope you all enjoyed that. Fly safe and I'll see you all next time.